Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video I have been wanting to do for a while and I figured what better time to do this look than Halloween or October. So for today's look I'm going to be doing Twiggy. If you don't know who Twiggy is, maybe just like take a second and Google. You probably should know who she is, but I'm excited to create this look because she's like a fashion icon and um, who doesn't love her? So I figured what better time to do a look like this than for Halloween. I know it's not like a spooky like Halloween look, but it's Twiggy. So I want to give it a go and yeah, I'm just really excited. So if you want to see the look I come up with, keep on watching. So Twiggy has an iconic look where she does like a liner here and kind of just fills it in with obviously lashes and the baby doll lash. So that's kind of what we're going for. I am not really that um, artistically like good. So we're just gonna see what happens. Also how cute is this little cup? Okay, anyways, moving on. So I'm just gonna tackle it and see if I can come up with my version of Twiggy. <laughs> So since I don't know how to like properly shape anything, the shapes are kind of janky, but so far I'm okay with it. And next I'm going to kind of just go in on the center part here between the lash line and the like outer whatever you want to call that. She kind of uses like a light color and I've seen people use bright colors. So I'm going to go in with this wet and wild not a basic peach is what it's called well that looks scary. i'm gonna go in with this blue guy here which is just number five and kind of just pack that all in there and see what she looks like some lashes and I picked these up at I don't even know what it was it's kind of like a Japanese makeup store so I'm gonna go in with these guys here can you see them <laughs> God, it got onto my eyeball. It's okay if it kind of gets clumpy because that's like the look we're eventually gonna go for. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is kind of, I already have it on there, so I'm just going to take it and just kind of wipe off a lot of the excess and just make it look like, um, like clumpy. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's the look. Baby, you should take my So 
this is the completed eye look. I want to go in with this little green color here just in this part of my eye. So I'm going to find a brush. I haven't cleaned them in a while. So that's fun. So I'm going to take the green and kind of just pack it in the corner to give it a little pop. Oh yeah, we love that. Okay, so for the face makeup, we're going to keep it a little bit simple. I have this bronzer here in Rimmel London. It's the Lasting Finished Breathable Finishing Powder. So I'm just going to take, oh god, I almost dropped it. I'm just going to take kind of a fluffier brush here and just, um, ew, and just kind of swirl it around. I'm not going to put foundation because all the pictures I've seen of Twiggy have kind of just been a nice, um, natural look except for the eyes because i feel like the eyes are really what she goes for you know so we're just gonna moving on <laughs> so the next step here i noticed she had a little bit of blush so i'm gonna take the elf little quad here that i have and take this pink color on this stippling elf brush here and kind of just poke around <sighs> this one's really pigmented and i'm just gonna kind of just put it um on the cheek here to give that little oh god i picked the wrong one <sighs> like blushy look and lastly i'm gonna go in with this lip gloss here which i think is really pretty and it's kind of subtle so i'm gonna throw this guy on just to give some color so that is the completed Twiggy inspired makeup look. I kind of took my hair from the back and made it a little forward because I noticed that she has a lot of bang and that's kind of what they did back in her prime. So I kind of like this look. I feel like I could have done a little bit better on the like whatever this outline thing is. So I will keep working on that and definitely give it a go for another video later on in the future. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you're excited for for the month of October. And if you have any ideas you want me to create this month, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.